Hi everybody, I'm here to talk to you about requirements, functional and non-functional requirements. Now, every time most people think of gathering requirements as project managers or business analysts, they are always thinking about functional requirements. But you have to understand that non-functional requirement is one of the most important type of requirements that you have to gather as a business analyst. Now, functional requirements describes what the system should do. So whatever it is you are building, the key features, for example, are your functional requirements. I'll give you an example. When a customer registers on our website, send an email. So you see, that is a function that the system has to do. Sending an email, all right, as a system functional requirement. Now, the non-functional side of it looks at the constraints on how the system should do it. Now, you said send an email, but the non-functional requirement would say that email must be sent two seconds after registration. Now, the system can fulfill the functional requirement by sending an email, but what if it takes about three hours, two days, one week for the email to actually arrive? Have you met the functional requirement? Yes. But you need non-functional requirements to apply a constraint on how this would work, okay? So the functional requirement looks at the features, if you can fulfill the non-functional requirement, that is what gives the system good quality. You must be able to have a non-functional requirement uh, alongside your functional requirement to make sure you're capturing the requirement properly and the builders would know or the developers would know exactly what's going on. Now, to be a good business analyst, you have to understand this, you have to apply this. Once again, it's Henry Radio 8, Alan Careers. Bye-bye.